Okay. So many want to work on uh, speed this week. So we work on speed. <laughs> okay. So just just right now, just stop jumping. Relax everything, jumps from one leg to another. So one leg in front, one leg back. Try to keep your arm very relaxed, like they, they are moving because you go forward, backward. Switch. Now the same configuration of your legs, but you go right and left. Try to keep the same gap between between your legs. Okay, shoulder width, shoulder width, and go. Don't try to go too far with one leg and then come back. And you switch. So now go back in front. When you move in forward, you just want to, to strike or push with the same. Yeah. Here. Come back here, come back. You switch, you do the same. You go forward, your arms moving, you go backward, come back at you. Okay, now on the side, so when you go here, you push. The side, here, I push, I come back. I push, I come back. Mm -hmm. And you switch one more. Make sure when you are jumping, your arms are completely relaxed. Breathe. Okay. Now, take a little bit your legs. So now I want you to put forward your pelvis here. So your legs at first are straight, okay? And when you push your pelvis forward, it brings a little bend in your knees, okay? And you push backward, go back straight. But try not to force on your knees. The knees are doing nothing. Everything's gone on pelvis. Okay. 
Okay, now with the same movement, I want you, when you push your pelvis forward, I want you to lift your knees towards your chest. And try to keep your, your chest and back straight. Don't bend it. Stay straight. Move your pelvis forward. And you lift your leg. Now, the same, you want to push your, your hips from one side. You push your hips on one side until you feel completely empty on the opposite side, on the legs, on the opposite leg. Okay. Your weight is supported by only one leg at the end. And you come back. And you switch every time. Just make sure that from 50 to 50, you go to 100 on one leg. And then go back to 50 50. Okay, now the same from this position. You can go on, uh, on your, the ball of your feet from behind or completely flat, doesn't matter. Like what is comfortable for you. So you have to be 50-50 and at one point you go backward and you will feel the transfer of weight and you will go on one leg only. And then you go back 50 50, you move forward until your back leg is completely empty and you can move it. And you go back 50 50. But um, What's very important, it's not um, the mistake you can make. It's I move a little bit and then I feel, I don't know, my, my feet leaving the ground, but I still have weight on it. And I want just to, to kick. I don't want that. I want you to put 100% all your weight on one leg only before you can move your back leg or uh, front leg and you come back Okay, so for, for those who were there on Monday, just you go on one leg first, here, and you jump on the side, but I don't want you to push the floor. 
I want you to use the transfer, the weight transfer to go on the side. So it's like you are falling. You fall, move, and then I can move. It's a translation, it's not a push from uh, my standing leg. Different, it's because when you push, you jump a little bit up. When you fall, you stay on the same line. It's like when the sprinter, it's good to, see, to, to watch the sprinter run. They stay stable, completely stable. So you are able, like this, to move the weight very light. And you can try in front now, go backward on the side, maybe in diagonal. No, oh. just choose. Now, I want to, you to stay like, like this, like just neutral, neutral posture. And you have to shift your weight a little bit. And when you feel that the other legs start to be empty, you throw it in front of you. But you throw it from first, you move your knee up and then you extend. Don't do this. Otherwise, you will strain something. So you move a little bit to shift your weight. My leg starts to be completely empty. And I extend my leg in front of me. So you can go very slow just to understand what's happening in your body. And then you increase the speed. And you can play with the speed. Like it's, you can start slow and you speed up at the end or you speed up at the beginning and you speed up at the end, I don't know. Or you slow down at the end. And you do the same from the side. So you shift your weight on one leg and then you kick on the side. You switch, shift. Lindsay is doing Jean-Claude Van Damme. <laughs> Kickboxer. <laughs> and when you speed up, like remember, when you speed up, you speed up because you relax, not because you want to, to speed. It's just you relax, your body allows you to speed up, not the reverse, not your brain. Then you can play it from the side, maybe in diagonal, 
on the eye, I don't know. You, you just choose. Maybe some weird angles, I don't know. You you hook with your with your feet. Like everything you you saw on movies, just try. Don't break anything in your house, but <laughs> Now you can move, you kick, but you are always kicking, You're moving, but you kick every time. You don't stop always kicking. The same, the speed can be very slow, very steady. Or you can speed up. Whenever you want. And try to keep your upper body very completely aware and movable. Right. You can move. You can play in your head like you are avoiding some branches, I don't know, or you move into the crowd and you push doors or you push people because you have something in your hands. Yeah. If you do it sorely, like you, you will feel when you start to move your legs somewhere, your body will go with it. Your legs are your will, and you are driving with your legs. Try to stay light, Lindsay. Even when you go slow, you stay light. When you step, it's very light. Heavy, but the movement is very light. Heaviness should be in the legs. Lightness in the body. Okay, very good. So now you will put your hands in front of you, like this side, like this. And you will just shoot your with your knee, your hand. But when you shoot, the speed you're giving to the hand should make the strike the same speed. So if I go slow like this, my hand will reach forward at the same speed. If I go very fast, I go forward very fast with my hand. Make sense? Good. And you can go from on the side to backward will be difficult, but it's doable.
Yeah, when, when you get comfortable, you can start to move. Like, and one in your while, you strike your palm and you go. And then you can strike, for example, maybe from the inside like this, and you go on the side. Now, when you will step, so you, you stay completely on, on one space for, for the moment. When you step, like maybe it's 50-50 on my feet. I put 60% uh, on the right leg and I start to move my right hand. I go back 50-50, I move the other way, I start to move my other hand. Yeah. Like that, you understand the power from the ground is coming back, is coming up towards your fist. So you take the power of the ground to your fist. So when you step, you should feel the pressure going up to your fist. Yeah. Try it. it's uh, easy concept to say, but. To feel it's another thing. Just when you step, step one, one way, another leg, and you have to extend. Yeah, I yeah, I mean, put your hands like this, your arms. Yeah, when you step on your right side, you and you right hand start to extend at the same time you feel the pressure on your leg yeah and don't keep the pressure on the leg try to make the pressure goes up towards your fist When you feel comfortable with that, you step and every time you step, you bring your hand forward. So simple movement at the beginning. Then you can speed up a little bit. Don't have to go very far with your hand. What you want is to keep your body um, in one piece. So when you step, all the body should go at the same time. I don't throw my hand first and then I see what happens. I want to step and reach my hand at the same time. Like that, I can move in one piece. Yeah, that's it, Irene. Good. Don't think about fighting yet. Just to understand, oh, I move my weight and this weight go back to my fist.
if you understand that on yourself it will be easier when you will work with somebody like it's the same when somebody touches you like you it push you or it strikes you you take this pressure and you redirect it towards your fist or your legs or your head or elbows everything you want so it's the same you you just have, have um, to be a tank like you have a tank but you you empty your tank every time yeah make sense <laughs> So now we'll go back to jumping at the beginning. And now feel the transfer from your feet to your fist. And then you start to, to box a little bit. Just every time you throw the pressure, you get rid of the pressure from the fist. Just go around like this. Oh, no. And try to keep your upper body very light too. Can move. Don't stay in one place, right? Because we have an, an idea of perfect combat. But don't try to be perfect. Try to be perfect in chaos. And to, to be perfect in chaos is uh, moving on the time. If you stop just to, to strike like this, you become a target. You have stability like this, and stability is not chaos. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Your knees okay, Chris? Yeah, just, yeah. Don't jump, just walk, that's it. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> okay. We'll do a little bit of push-ups now <laughs> because it's push-up day. <laughs> Okay, so I explained this concept on, uh, on last Friday. Um, it was a visualization, so I want you just to go on a push-up position, just relax on your hands, on your fist, doesn't matter. But I want you to imagine first you're on the ground and you have to do a regular push-up. Okay, and be very aware of the tension appearing inside your head and inside the body. 
then you have to do a push up, but from the ground, you are in your head already up. And feel the difference. Lightness is coming in the body. <laughs> Can you feel the difference or? Yes? Good. So I want you to, to push the ground now the same. Like you push it and the pressure entering your body, you keep the pressure inside the body and you raise yourself like this. So you feel very heavy and you use a lot of muscle lot of strength and now this pressure every time you push the ground it should lift from your limbs elbows back everything and it's uh, pulling you up but you have nothing in the in the body I don't know if you understand or not don't <laughs> Just unmute yourself if you have questions. It's okay for you, Lindsay? Or, or <laughs> Kusi Kusa? <laughs> yeah, that's perfect, Chris. It's good. Oleg, try to stabilize um, your your shoulder and the collarbone. Like when you go like this, don't let your shoulder go up. It's like a arrow, arrowhead. Your, your shoulder are down. Not not too much like this. Here very down and you push from the arm yeah at the beginning it's uh, weird but it's better for the shoulders <laughs> it's good so now uh, we'll play with um, weight transfers on push-up position you can go on your knees if you want so you start 50-50 from the ground and you just rise up a little bit and you move I don't know for the beginning just 60 40 and you get up then you go down do the same on the other side and at one point you put every weight all the weight on one hand and you push if you can do it if not, you stay on your knees, it's perfect too, okay? Or you can go on the ground or you, you find a table or a chair to elevate yourself. That's fine. Miro, you okay? <laughs> Good. So try it at first like, like this. Just regular push-up, one hand push-up. And after you play with the concept of I'm down on only one arm, but I'm already up. So it's completely like easy to go. Sometimes we, we are on the ground and we just look, that's it. I do something else. I don't do push-up. I don't do one arm push-up just looking for something yeah, 
it's good. <laughs> and if you need to rest, rest. There is no no rush. Yeah. Okay, relax a little bit your, your arms. Every time you, you you are shaking your arms or your legs. It's like you, you are moving the muscle around the bones. On the elbow, but the shoulder should stay down. So you can go forward, backward, sideways, around. And you can yeah, you start to throw your hand. So again, it's really um, heavy, but you don't have ideas of um, precise direction. See, it's like not in my mind. I don't say, oh, I want to strike there. I want to throw my arm there. It's just the movement will bring a direction. Of course, at the end, you will have um, a tactic or in something like when you fight, you want to throw something at a, a place, a precise place. But for now, you have just to trust your movement. Trust the movement. The more and more I think like for, to bring creativity in your system, in your style, you have to be able to trust your movement. If you don't trust it, you won't be able to have a good system and good creativity inside. Once you feel this relaxation in the arm and the relaxation brings inside the body, we go back to a push-up position, but keep this feeling. And just from the top or from the bottom, you do five push-up with the same relaxation in your arm. You will feel like your arm are able to move like every direction. And then you relax. If you lost it, you return.
Yeah, more relaxed, Bruno. <laughs> Again, it's not, um, I will try to show you the difference. And like, I relax my arm and I start to do push up. And then I, in my head, I'm already thinking, oh, maybe I want to go there. Maybe I want to go there and there. No, it's the movement, the relaxation gives you already the direction where you want to go. At any moment, you have to be able to move very smooth. Otherwise, you start to, to tense and you are, you are too late to your next movement. It's not easy to do, but try to reach this, uh, this goal. The movement, next movement, and it's like chess play, chess game. You, you play two or three moves before, if you, have a, if you are a good player. Jules, try not to impact too much your, your chest, just the arm, because it's moving too much on your chest, just your arm. Otherwise you will strike, but you will show your, your movement first, just your arm. Okay, just relax, lie down on your back. You can shake a little bit your arms if you need. Lie down on your back. So there will be no movement, but in your head, you will think about what movement you want to do. Maybe you want to raise your arm, for example. You do nothing, but just thinking about it. And try to find and to figure out um, which muscle, which nerves is triggered just by the thought. And you will see the beginning of your movement And you can try from time to time to raise it. Try different speed. It can be very slow, can be fast. If you do it slow, um, remove any tension when you lift something. So now just visualize you doing uh, 
leg raises. And when you have this picture, I want you to do two leg raises, one in 10 seconds, and another one as uh, fast as you can. So you, in this, I imagine my mind, okay. And then, so one, two, three, four, five, it's the middle, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you try to go very fast. And you will see um, um, the imperfection of movement when you speed up. What it's under control when you go slow and what happens when you go fast. And when you finish, you do the same for push up. You imagine yourself doing a push up and you go for 10 seconds down. And we will have just one. And we'll have finished for today. <laughs> It's good to finish on push-up. <laughs> okay. I hope everything was okay for you. Not too complicated, was okay? Yeah? Perfect. If you have good. questions, uh, send it to Manny, he will send it to me. Or you can find me on Facebook or... Awesome. Good. Thank you. Okay. Merci, Benoit. Yeah. Merci, Benoit. Merci, Benoit. Au revoir. Merci, Benoit. Au revoir. Thanks, Benoit. See you next time. Bye -bye. See you guys. Have a great day. Bye. Bye. Yeah, I know. I made um, your I have that too. <laughs> <laughs>